Thank you for arranging things for our favor. Thank you, Lord, for the job. Thank you for those who are not working. Still, you have put your foot on the earth. We thank you, Lord, for granting us, giving us such a privilege to have a forum where we witness your faith, your great hand every day. Father, thank you our family members, for those who well wish us, those who stand by our side, those who never give up on us, we thank you for them, for what you are doing and what you continue to do. May you be glorified. In Jesus' name, we pray and wait. Amen. Beloved, help me once again asking God for his mercy it is by his mercy we are not conditioned. In any way we may have failed him, let us ask for mercy. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you asking for mercy and forgiveness. In any way we have failed him, through our conversation, claiming to be what we are not, we ask for your mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on us, Jesus. For we have done what does not even God Father. We have done things contrary to your way. Most especially, we have claimed to be what we are. Have mercy on us as individuals. Have mercy on us as a father. Have mercy on our brothers and sisters. Outside there, in Jesus Christ's mighty name and prayer. Amen. Brethren, let us commit this day into God's hand for the Bible says we should acknowledge God in all we do. Jesus studied by prayer and energy. There is something awesome when we acknowledge God. For the Bible makes us understand we acknowledge God for what He has done. We acknowledge him for what he is. In the name of Jesus, commit this hour into God's hand. Speak to him, our heavenly Father. We commit this very hour into your hands. Take absolute control of this forum. Lord, we ask you, use your mighty hand to deliver all that you have chosen. Let there be clarity in every word and vision, and let there be accuracy in every utterance. Father, do that what you promised to do. For you have said when two or three gather in your midst, Father, you are in our midst. We believe you are in our midst. You have made it clear, Father, to us that we agree over something on us. It will be done for us. Have your will on now and forever. In the name of Jesus. We thank you. We love you. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Our Heavenly Father, I commit your people into your hand. For we have come, Lord. For you have said, Come unto me, who are heavy land, and I will give you rest. Father, we have come. We have come. Here are you, children. I cannot bear you alone. They cast all their burden to you, all the heaviness, all the trouble, all the challenge. Father, I surrender it to you. Have your way in our lives. Come and heal today, just as you healed yesterday. Come and deliver today. Just as you did. May you bless today as you bless yesterday. Father, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, during your earthly ministry, all that you were praying, they were all healed. During your earthly ministry, all that came, they were all delivered. During your earthly ministry, even the poor were blessed. You raise the dead during your ministry. 
You open the blind eyes. Lord Jesus, give us the same grace today. Give us the same grace today. Give us the same grace today. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray and believe. Amen. We yeah, are well beloved sisters and brothers. Let us unmute and say good morning to one another. We are coming to the end of the month to see each other is a blessing. And most especially, we are in, there's a very big distance between us. We are in different continents, different nations, but God has made it possible now we are together. Yeah, I say to all of you, good morning and we be rest assured that this is a different day. This is the day that the Lord has made. For you will experience his grace, his love, his favor, his provision in Jesus. Amen. You can unmute. You greet someone. Good morning, Baba. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Flora. Good morning, iPhone. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Ashley, the voice is very fine. Good morning, everyone. Blessing, blessing, blessings, brothers and sisters. God bless you all and I love you guys all. Thank you. Amen. Baba. Yes. If you allow if you allow me, if you allow me, the Holy Spirit as Holy Spirit allows, I wanna. To, I wanted to share the dream which I just had. Was somebody was teaching me in the dream before I forget. Can you please wait a bit? Okay. Yeah, you will not forget. I will have us to sing then we praise God. Yeah, we make it like this, whoever is willing to sing, please, the floor is open. It will be so beautiful if everyone can sing a song. Okay. Actually, singing is really good because uh, yeah, some of us, like some people really know how to sing, some people don't know, but this is like, I feel this is like a practicing ground that I, I love it. Sometimes I'm squeaking and whatever, but I'm so happy because I know Jesus loves it. At least I'm trying. I want to hear other people's voice when they sing, especially the Arabic people. This, um, and you guys like sing something in Uganda and something, something flavor is so good. Okay, I'll sing. E baba, e baba, e baba, poke asifa. E baba, e baba, e baba, poke asifa. E yesu. E Yesu, E Yesu, poke asifa. E Yesu, E Yesu, E Yesu, poke asifa. E Mungu, E Mungu, E Mungu, poke asifa. E Mungu, 
E mungu, e mungu pokea siku. E baba, e baba, e baba pokea siku. E baba, e baba, e baba pokea siku. E Yesu, e Yesu, e Yesu pokea siku. E Yesu, e Yesu, e Yesu pokea siku. Maulana, maulana, maulana pokea Maulana, 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 pokea sifa. Yesu Kristu tunakupenda sana, roho mtakatifu karibu. Wewe mwambani salama, wewe mwambani salama, wewe mwambani salama. Wewe mamba ni salam, cha kutumaini sina, ila damu yake yesu, sina wema wakutosha, dhambi zangu kuziosha, sina wema wakutosha, ila damu yake yesu, sina wema wakutosha. Dhambi zangu kuziosha, cha kutumaini sina. Ila damu yake yesu, sina wema wakutosha. Dhambi zangu kuziosha. Tambua sasa uzia wako ni nani? Uzia ni wengi watawala maisha ni natuwa keme katika jina la Yesu. Baba Yesu tukuzwe milele na milele. Amina. Mbio, 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 tutangazeni. Mbio, 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 tutangazeni. Tutangazeni, neno la buwana. Tutangazeni, neno la buwana. Mbio. That's it. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Yeah, we take one person again, then we step in another session. Anyone who loves you? Step in. We bless you, Almighty God. We bow before you. We bless you, Almighty God. We bow. We glorify your holy name. Come and come, come. We glorify your holy name. Power and power. We bless your name. Oh, my God. We bow before your throne. We glorify. Power Amen. 
Lord, prepare us all to be your sanctuary that brings you glory. Prepare us to be your sanctuary. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. It is a blessing for us to gather. God is so awesome. He works in a mysterious way. I know you may have something troubling you, but be rest assured, coming in God's presence, there is a reward. Sometimes things seem like are not happening, but I tell you, today is a special day. Praise be to God. Amen. Allow us to go into the word of God. It's very, very important. Then from there we'll be able to pray. Praise God. I would love us to go into the word. But before that, let us hear, listen to Irene's sister's Irene uh, dream. This was worried. Yeah, sister, we listen to you. Then we continue. Sister Irene. I don't know if you are there, Sister Irene. Yes, I'm here, Baba. Yeah, please, we are listening to you. Oh. Yes, uh, I had a dream. It was somebody came, the lady who used to come, come when I was sick. Uh, she came to me, she was teaching me about forgiveness. She was teaching me about, uh, she taught me about four things. Those four things I have again to relax my mind. But what she told me uh, when I pray please. or when we pray. Honey. Sorry, sister. Can you just tell us what you saw? You I don't know. If you tell us, we can. I saw a lady. She's a white, tall lady who used to come to my dream when I was very, very sick. She could come actually in the vision and she, uh, talk to me. A long time she hasn't come. She came to teach me uh, how to pray and when we pray this is what i remember i requested if again she can come again to teach me i hope she will i know she will and she told me once you ask for something do not doubt the way i ask come again she's gonna come again she told me once you ask you you like you are asking for a prayer be specific even she gave me my mom's name i was i'm so happy that's why like my mom, my mom's name is Salome. I never knew. I know the name Salome is in the Bible and Salome is one of the ladies, you know, once like Jesus resurrected who went to the grave to take the oil or whatever, but I did not know nothing more. But in the dream, she explained to me like Salome specifically asked for wisdom. So she was given wisdom because she asked for wisdom to teach to teach people you know uh so she's uh, the she taught me like anytime when i'm asking for something i cannot just just say like oh god just help me or god you just know my problem just help me whatever problem you see i have because uh, i like doing that i usually say i usually say like oh god uh, i some things i don't remember i might need something which i don't remember right now I don't know whatever I need, but help me whatever I need. No, she told me I have to say specifically. I have to say, if it is healing, I have to say, Father, I need healing. If it's money, I need money. If it's a car, I need a car. And if, if it's a train, is I need a train. There's not, 
thing which is hard for God not to give you. So anything which you just ask, be specific. And also she corrected me. Um, there's something which I've been saying like, it's okay, you can sing. Uh, you don't have to be perfect. I've repeated this thing and I, I told Brother Rai, like, it's okay, you can, you can be a sinner. Uh, you can sing and uh, it's okay. You don't have to be perfect. She told me, no, you, you have to be perfect. You have to be perfect for God. Do your best. Do your best. It does not mean like you might not slide and, and maybe sing somewhere. But do your, do your best because you have this Holy Spirit in you to guide you. Whenever you are, you are going to do wrong, the Holy Spirit will capture you and bring you back. And the Holy Spirit will work with you all the time when you are thinking right, when you are doing no sins, the Holy Spirit will always be around you. But the Holy Spirit will run away from you. Like if I'm sinning all the time, uh, whatever the words which are coming from my mouth are not good, the Holy Spirit will run away from me. But everywhere where I am, if I'm thinking about God, if I'm praying, I'm living the right way, the way God wants us to live, the Holy Spirit will always be with me. My heart should be open always for the Holy Spirit. My heart has to be always clean and I have to forgive. Uh, I have to forgive whoever I'm holding in my heart. This was a teaching for me, but I'm sharing with you guys. Um, and uh, there was something, three other things he gave me. She gave me four things. I was supposed to get up and write them, but it was so deep. So I was like listening and asking questions. It took long. And I asked her if she can come again. Because I was thinking I was going to work. I, I'm like, I'm going to work. If um, uh, she said, yeah, she'll come again. So that's what I wanted to share. And for Brother Rai, if you're on today, there's no room for us to sin. Every day we have to live pure for God. Yes. And we have to be, you know, to forgive each other. Like if you are holding anybody in your heart, sometimes for me, I'm sensitive. I'm, I'm very sensitive, like people will do something, they piss me off, I'm like, oh, I don't wanna deal with them. The goodness now, I don't like even like say anything back, I just kind of ignore them and just move on. Uh, God does not want that. You have to be specifically like, just apologize, whatever you feel like you went wrong, you just apologize, you know, be clear, be like him. That's what I wanted to share. I know I forgot like a lot because the prayer, the dream was just so intense. Thank you. Yeah, we thank God for you. I was given Bible, Bible verses. I don't remember the moment. I was given like three Bible verses whereby uh, I was asked to open the Bible, I read. Uh, I don't remember them, but I know she'll remind me again. Thank you. Amen. Yeah, we thank God for you. May God continue to reveal you. May God continue to reveal himself to you and others in Jesus' name. Yeah, God does that. He may send someone to explain more things to you as an English. You know, when it comes to Christianity, that's why I tell people it's a suicide mission. You can't be halfway God, halfway other thing. You mind your mouth. Because many a times, Christians, this is where we are. 
the words you say than the words that have reflect to what you end up being. So I thank God you God abused you to say that. Thank you. I would love us to look at the Bible today. Yeah, you continue all to make yourself available and take God serious. When you take God serious, you enjoy. That is the only truth. Yeah. I have realized when you take God serious, things look like gradually happening. But when that blessing comes, you will find that God takes you to a level whereby it is not easy for anyone to approach you. I'll give example of David. He was a mere shepherd. He was always a lonely boy. His friends were sheep. But because he loved God, he made him a king. You know what it means? Not everybody can meet a king. You remember Joseph? He was a slave. He was a slave in Phosphat's house. He was in prison. His brother, when they sold him to Egypt, they did not know that they are using that, God is using that to take him to where he wanted. God raised Joseph to be second in command in the land of Egypt. Everybody had to bow before Joseph. I tell you, sister, brother, I don't know what you are going through, but I will only assure you, God is faithful. He speaks things and he makes them happen. I want you to continue trusting God. He's faithful. Is faithful. Trust him. Amen. Yes, well, let us read the Bible. Yesterday we ended in chapter 12, verse, uh, our love has to look up from, let us look from verse 15. I wish we repeated the whole thing. Baba was read. Verse again. So you guys already did chapter 12. Okay, start yeah. from 15. Okay, I'll start from 15. It says, And they said unto her, The out mark, but she constantly affirmed that it was even so. Then said that it is his angel. But Peter continued knocking, and when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. But he, beckoning unto them with the hand to hold their peace, declared unto them how the Lord had brought him out of prison, and he said, Go show those things unto James and to the brethren. And he departed and went unto into another place. 18. Now, as soon as it was day, there was no small star among the soldiers. What was, what was become of Peter? And when Herod had sought for him and found him not, he examined the keepers and commanded that they should be put to death. And he went down from Judea to Caesarea and there aboard. 20, and Herod was highly displeased with them of Tyre and Sidon, but they came with one accord to him. And having made blasters, the, king, the king's champlain, their friend desired peace because their country was nourished by the king's country. And upon a set day, Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, sat upon his throne and made on oration unto them. And the people gave a shout saying, it is the voice of God and not of man. And immediately the angel of the Lord 
smote him because he gave not God the glory and he was eaten of worms and gave up the ghost. But the word of God grew and multiplied. And Barnabas, Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem when they had fulfilled their ministry and took with them John whose surname was Mark. And that's the end of the reading. Baba, we can't hear you. What interesting, thank you. What interesting part of the Bible. Let us hear what you have to say. Thank you so much for the reading. Baba, I kind of started in the mirror. I did not read from the beginning because yesterday I got distracted at work. Okay. I'll come in then, from there you can. So it started earlier on, it is all about Peter. Yeah, it's okay. That's why you see, I always say this to us, if you are not privileged to be part of the sermon, every video, every service, we have the fellowship is live. Afterwards, the video is uploaded and I post it on the page in the group so that you don't be left. So you can take time and listen. I want to say to us, please, the video I post for you, don't take them for granted. There's something special about them. I just encourage you, listen, share them to friends. Praise God. Share Amen. them to friends. Let them listen. There is grace and anointing behind everything I make or any forum that is going on, of which it is here to be revealed. So I pray that you take it serious because I see I pause, people don't watch. Oh, you are waiting when you start buying ticket to come to me and whereby you have to buy a ticket, you have to pay hotel, and you have to be in prayer mountain for some days. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Yeah. Anyway, the prophet is out without a honor except in his midst of the So take this serious. When I post video, try to listen to them and share them to friends. Their lives will not remain the same. Yeah. I'll say this, take it serious. Because I stop about sharing revelation. I told Daddy, I want it to happen. Praise God. Because when I see there's something special that I've been given, which will be a blessing to the entire group. Yeah, it was all about Peter. We know very well that the Bible says, Herod went farther and arrested Peter. After he arrested Peter, at first before arresting Peter, it, he arrested James and killed him with a sword. So when he saw that he pleased the Jews, he went further and arrest Peter. And before that, he had become a problem to the entire church. I'll say this, what happened. Now about that time, Herodes, the king, stretched forth his hand to vax the Satan of the church. That is 12 verse 1, which means Herodes became a very big problem to the early church in those days. And he killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And he, because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also then. So I just give you a brief summary that he had become a problem to the church. So he went further and killed James by sword. So when he saw that he pleased the Jews, 
he would stretch his hand to arrest Peter. So here where you read, before then, Peter was put into prison in a very way that you cannot expect him to come out. But the angel of the Lord visited Peter after the intercession was made consistent for him by the church people. Then that very day, a Lord was waiting because it was uh, Easter. So he, was, he, he wanted to bring him on Easter before people so that he can decide his death. But that very night, because of the prayer they were praying for him, the church people, just like one of us may have an issue, then we come together and raise our voice to God concerning the person. God will send the angel to deliver. This is what happened that the angel of the Lord visited Peter in prison. And he, he tapped him. He said, rise up. And the chain broke. So it's a very interesting part of the bag. Then the angel told him to guard himself, to cover himself, put on shoes, and to follow him. So he followed him. Peter, even he thought it was a vision. But as they continue, when the angel brought him outside, angel disappeared. That's how Peter had to realize, hey, it was not a dream. God has sent his angel to deliver him from the hand of a and the, from the expectation of the Jews. So from there is where he went to a house of Mary. That girl you have heard that she went inside, it was a rodder. When they were excited gathering together praying, they heard Peter knocking the door. So in the process of him knocking, the girl who came to open the door, instead of opening, she just rushed because of excitement inside and told them. Then people told her, are you mad? Then Peter him insisted, how she confirmed, telling them it's true, it is Peter. Then this is what happened. Peter continued knocking the door, then they had to open. So that's how where we are. I believe you have a brief summary. So I encourage you, please, take time and listen to the video, and you'll be blessed. Yeah, from where you started, from verse 15. The Bible made us understand that, and they said unto her, do as much, but she constantly affirmed that it was so. Then said, yes, yeah, it is an angel. So she insisted, convincing them that it's Peter. Then they said, it's an Peter's angel. But Peter continued knocking when they had opened the door, saw him, they were astonished. So when the Peter op they opened the door for Peter and saw him, they were astonished. The Bible makes us understand, but he, but the cunning unto them with a hand to hold their peace, declared unto how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. And he said, God showed these things unto James and to the brethren, and he parted went into other places. There are many things that we learn from this, that Peter, when he entered, Oh, when they saw, he was astonished. Remember earlier on, these people were gathered together praying for Peter. This is just like any of us. Many a times we pray, but you don't believe that it will happen. Ask yourself, why were they astonished? Yet they have been praying, believing that it's coming out. That's how you see when something happens, we always get surprised, yet we are praying. I think that shows doubt. Praise God. I thank God as I have, we have just heard the sister God say to her, when you pray, you believe. And this is the truth, when you pray and you believe, believing is something you say, God, I ask for prayer. You stop human understanding to see how you get to pray. And you wait for God to make a way for you to have prayer. That's what it means. But many a times human beings say, they are asking God for a particular thing, but in the process, they are trying to use their human understanding to get what they are looking for. But I believe believing is like entering to rest, trusting God's power and authority to make things happen. I am a witness. I see this happening every day, where God glorifies himself every single day. When you look unto him, he makes things happen in the way that you cannot believe. Praise be to God. 
I will give you this lesson. The Bible says that when he entered, he told them to keep to be silent. Then he explained to them how God had delivered him from the hands of the Jew and the Roman. Then he went further and told them they should show or they should testify this to other people like James. What it means to us is that when God blesses you, when a miracle comes to your way, God expects you to come and celebrate that miracle or a testimony in the brethren. Tell them what the Lord has done. But many a times human beings have seen, when God blesses them, many a times they run away, even they cannot show up. Many Christians nowadays, they love to look for God when they're in trouble. But when the trouble ends, you cannot see them. But they do forget that if God is the one who gave you example of husband, it's only God who can maintain that husband. If it's God who gave you job, it's only God who can maintain that job. That's why you see life of many is up and down. You receive a blessing and you lose it. Why? The person who gave you the blessing, you cannot even come and testify in, front, in the midst of brethren. Because whenever you may testify in the midst of brethren, it encourages somebody and says things are happening. But if you keep, it's like you're hiding the glory of God. So Peter did that. The first thing he looked for the brethren and told them the testimony how God has delivered. Second, he said, don't just keep quiet. Help me extend this testimony to others. That's what I always do here in forum. When we see what God has done, I download everything I post for you in the group, expecting that also you, you can share to a friend, but you can find out that the more I post them, none of you have the time to share them to other friends. Praise God. So I hope you take a step and share. I have always told you the Lord have given me the grace to heal people. Nowadays, you are no longer bringing the names of people who are sick. Praise God. It's like you don't want to see people here. I think when I come to an end, I will explain something. What I saw today, you will help me and pray for me now. Because the Lord took me somewhere in the spirit, I saw what is happening in this country. I was shocked. And I will say, please, you'll help me pray. I went in a place in the spirit. I was really surprised to see sacrifices that have been done all they do every day. But people, they are not aware. And I pray that God will open the eyes of people concerning this religion that is born. I was taken in a cave. I saw men and women kept in a cave, in a cage. This cage, some, they are fasting until they die as a sacrifice. Some, their parts of body are being removed as part of demonic sacrifice. Some, they are in a state in the name of serving what they do not know. If you look at this thing, you will wonder and say, God, have mercy. I pray that he can open people's eyes because the followers, they don't really know. The elders, the leaders, they know what they are doing because they put, there is a man the Lord took me to see. I saw this man have been kept in a place. He had to be alive for a particular time. Then, when he died, there's somebody else we have to bless. So it has made me understand that there are many people that disappear without explanation. And people are not aware. What is the demonic sacrifice? I was privileged to see this in the spirit, and I felt pity for the bloodshed that is being shedded every day. 
it was a care. I saw many section of people being kept there. They be in a place until they die in the same place. They dry the skin goes on until the skeleton remains as part of sacrifice. So you can imagine hundreds of people that have been put in such a state. So in my vision, this is what I saw. I found myself that when I see these people, I could not mention them. When I see them, my spirit was really troubled. And when they see me, the people who the religion of this place, they were running out. But it continued to an extent whereby I saw in the heaven, there is, was a cover, very wide cloud. I could see the sky. Then when I stretched my hand, I saw fire from heaven coming and consumed the entire place. So it was like an electricity shock destroying the entire place. So from there, I was wake up. So please remember our brothers, most especially who are in a religion that is not of Christ. There's something that people don't know. Praise God. Okay, I will continue to say this to you who listen to me. Please try and stay firm in the Bible-based gathering and try continuously to pray for whoever you are listening. Because of the circumstances, people are led to do what they are not doing, supposed to do. Satan, he loses no time plotting against you, so we should not lose time committing ourselves to God. That is what I saw. Briefly is what I have explained. But I just want you to know your prayer for people who are not yet born again. Please don't, don't stop praying. People are worshiping demons, but they don't know. And when they are worshiping this very demon, tormenting them, killing their people, and they are needing not aware. It's a pity concerning what I saw. I can you can imagine hundreds, millions of people in such a May God have mercy. The good news is that when God reveals, it means he has taken charge. So I believe the end of them has come. Yeah, praise God. So I'll say this, whenever God does something to you, for you, testify and tell people. It gives him glory. Some people want to hear good news. That's why you speak. Gathering can easily grow when we share the link to friends, most especially those who are in trouble, just ask their number. We reach out to them and pray for them. Many of you are working in the hospitals, people who are with the disability. This is an opportunity for you to exercise your faith. You look at somebody who is in trouble. If you can pray for the person, you share the number or the link the person come, we pray, and God heals them. Because Christ wants to heal. But who will he send? So he's sending you. Praise God. Yeah, that is what Peter did. And afterwards, the Bible says he left that place because of the road there, And he went to another place. Listen, sometimes when you are Persecution is a lot where you are. It's not bad to leave the place. But Jesus said, when you're persecuted from one city, you can go to another city. So leaving a place is not a bad thing. When you see you cannot handle it, it's too much for you. To change your position is not a bad thing. Yeah. That is what Peter did. 
and he was able to run away from Herodias because Herodias was really determined to kill him. So listen, the Bible went further and said, now as soon as it was day, there was no small tear among the soldiers. What would become of the keeper? And when Herodias had sought of him and found him not, he examined the keepers and commanded they should be put to death. So listen, when the soldier wake up and they could not see Peter, they don't know what have really happened. So I wrote the try on his possible during in the day to look for Peter. And when he did not find him, he started examining the keepers to ask them, where is the prisoner? For them said they did not know because it was angel who really Peter. So what did he command them to do? Praise God. It made me understand when I sit and look at this portion of the Bible. It makes me understand God has power to allow one to be killed for his name's sake. And he has the power to stop someone from being killed. That's why you see, I agree with this God, which says all things happen for good. Because here, God sent Peter, he sent an angel for Peter, and he was released. But Stephen, he led him to be killed for his own glory. So whatever you are into, God has the power to make you to come to an end. And if you see, it does not remove that trouble. It means you want to do it in a greater way. Just in the days when you read John 11, the Bible says that they called Jesus when Lazarus was sick. But he stayed more four days, Lazarus until he ended up dying. And the Bible says that his sickness is not unto death, but for God's glory. When you see what you are going through, God is not fixing it immediately. He wants where I will receive glory. I have realized something. God likes to wait when people say it is cannot be. And that's how we come and show that it's possible. So Lazarus, God allowed him to die. And he was kept in a grave tomb. You know what Peter said? I am glad that I was not there so that you can believe. So what you are going through, no matter how the worst the situation can be, God is seeking the time and where he will gain growth. Remember our mother Sarah? At an age that she was not able, able to conceive, that is when God show up to give her a child. I have realized when our strength is completely weak, that is when the strength of God is being seen in us. When we feel that there is no hope, when you look right and left, no one to stand by your side. When you pray and it seems like your prayer is can never be answered, it's like you are doing good and the more you do good, the more things become worse. I will let you know, don't give up. God silence does not mean it's failure or denial. God sometimes he may feel like he's silent, but the truth is, even though he's silent, he's still concerned about you and protect you. That's why you see, no matter how life may be difficult, God makes sure that at least you have all you need to survive. He waits for the time that your testimony will change your life, then he will show up. Don't give up on it. So the Bible says that Herodes commanded them to be killed. That is the work of enemy. We find joy in killing, stealing, and destroying. But stay firm. 
the Bible went further. And the Bible says that he left where he was and he went to Cassidia. Cassidia. And there a boy. And a Lord was highly displeased with the name of Thai and Sidon, but came with one accord to him and have made a blasters. The kings, comparing their friends, desired peace because the country was nourished by the king's country. And upon the set a road, arrayed in a royal apple, said, sat upon his throne and made an oration unto them. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of God and not of a man. And immediately the angel of the Lord smote him because he gave not the glory. And he was eaten of once, okay? gave up the ghost. But the word of God grew mighty, and Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem when they have fulfilled their ministry and took with him then John, whose son was Mark. Please listen. Something awesome happened. A road day, you know, pride is a very bad thing. He sat on his throne and he prayed to give God's glory. The Bible says that angel smart cut his neck and worms ate him immediately. You know, worms eat people after days, but with him, worms ate him immediately. You see, it's my prayer that we should always give God's glory. Our enemy, if they do not repent, God will send that angel that smote Herodes to death to wherever enemy is, if they do not stop troubling him. Herodes had become a gain, and he was a trouble to the entire church. Was the reason why many Christians ran out, ran out. So he thought it's the prime ruler. And God decided to silence him. The Bible says that then Saul and Barnabas returned from their ministry. So I want you to know that when we read this, it means that that trouble, your enemy Satan, as he claimed to be the more powerful, I say, I command, I speak in the name of Jesus, the angel that smote the Lord to death, may smote every enemy standing on your career in the name of Jesus. Open your lips and say that any enemy standing as a road in my life, let the angel that destroy a road visit them in the name of Jesus. I declare war to every enemy of progress. I declare war to every enemy of success. I declare war to every enemy of career. I declare war in the name of Jesus. Let that angel that has smote eroded death, smote every, every enemy, does not want to let you go. In the name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. The Bible says that Saul and Barnabas returned from them, which means they had earlier on went somewhere preaching around the gospel, telling people about Christ's resurrection and crucifixion. Now, when they heard that Herod is no more, they were free to come back. But the Bible says that after Herod's death, the gospel and the word of God grew mighty in the people. So I declare that every obstacle that does not want to let you have peace. Be small to death in Jesus' name. So you love to know that God has the power to stop anything from troubling you. Don't lose faith. Don't lose hope for his faith. So the Bible says, and afterwards you are able to meet, to call on them. John was some name, meaning they include the 
expanded the, their ministry by a hand of help, which was John, a son named Mark. That's like what you hear me telling you, please help me share the clip. Help, when you are doing this, you are helping us to grow stronger, to be able to tell Christ in your area. Some of you, you have different groups. If you are accepted to share, you share the video. Let people listen. I tell you, you do that and God will bless you much. Amen. May God bless his word. Let us hear anyone that has something to say based on what we have just read. Praise God. Anyone? What have you learned? And all God has used me to explain. Praise God. I see silence in the house. Oji Ogashama, I see Well, 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 we bless God. Okay, if there is silence, it means people have understood, which is very important. Praise God. We'll take Amen. testimony if someone has a testimony. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sorry, I didn't put my hand up. Um, my testimony goes like this. I thank God for my life every day. I thank God for my good health. I thank God for at least being there for me every day no matter what. I thank God for my job. I thank God for my daughter. I thank God for my parents and my friends in Zoom. Um, I just want to be grateful like every day I wake up, I have like different kind of issues because the enemy never stops attacking. But anytime I come, I ask for prayer requests. Like the other day, I had like back back pain i asked baba ibrahim kasule to pray for me he prayed for me for sure that back pain it is now six days it has gone away completely what more can i ask god i glorify his name and jesus god himself god of abraham isaac noah them is in this house Whoever needs like healing, ask for your healing, and God will stretch his hand to you. Thank you. That's all. Amen. We rejoice with you. May you maintain the peace and joy that you are joined from God. Wow. It's a blessing. We say thank you, Jesus. Is the we are just blessed. I also want to say thank you to Jesus. It's such a blessing for when you look at what he's doing, I ask thank you for his provision, for his grace. Most especially when I see that things I have lost, God has restored them. It's a blessing. 
I thank him for the angels visitation, which is awesome. God has been really gracious here. He make a way where there seems to be no way. I'm really grateful. It's a blessing when you see that you pray and you see God answer. It's a blessing when you hear people sending trouble, challenge, and you join them in faith and you pray with them. It's a blessing. I also want to say thank you to Jesus because for the last three good years, without a team, it's a problem. But I thank God now I have a team, it's a blessing. I say thank you, Jesus, and thank you for all of you for being there every day. Wherever we are, we gather and we show up. I pray that God can bless you and to open doors that will surprise everyone. Amen. Yeah, anyone else that have a testimony before we go, we will have to pray for someone. Yeah, I see our Hallelujah. sister Ashley. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead, sister. Ashley, put her hand up your head of her. Go ahead, sister Luel. Go ahead, mommy. Okay, thank you. You want to be to God? Sorry, Amen. I'm at work. I am here to thank God, you know. God is a good God. He's protecting us, protecting our family, some people that are struggling, even breathing in and out. But here we are breathing in and out naturally, and we protect it. Some people can die in the accident, in their way on their road, going to work or coming out from work. But we make it every single day. It's not because we are good, but because the great He is. Jesus is good God. So that's the reason we are protected. I want to thank God so much, and I want to thank you, Baba Ibrahim, for praying for us all the time. Um, the thing I want to apologize here when I am at work sometimes, it's hard for me to talk. So that's a difficult thing. Even if people praying, I can't open my mouth to pray, at least if I am in the good place, because I work in the hospital. Anytime I can get in trouble with the phone call, so I have to leave. I leave the line and mute myself and put my phone in my bucket. I can't talk. So that's the reason if you guys come up with the prayer to pray for Baba Ibrahim, if I do not respond, it's not because I don't want to pray for Baba. It's because I'm just in the tight place. I can't respond to pray. But I love you and I always pray for you in my heart. Thank you. I thank God for all of you. Um, this day, I remember I spent my God showed me you people interceding on my behalf. I was so surprised when I hear how you are praying. I will not mention, but I was so encouraged seeing people interceding on my behalf. You know, this God is mm -hmm. too much. Here in the house, I have it. Uh, uh, a spiritual satellite. So it just made me, I see people praying, mention my name, crying. I was really saying, God, what a blessing. In life, someone who prays for you is even more than somebody who gives you money. Mm -hmm. If somebody says, God bless you, it's more than somebody who gives you $10,000. Yeah, so I really thank God this morning. I could see. He was able to take me to some of you, I could really see in the city. And I pray God bless you all. So what you Thank see you. is the result of your prayer. Praise God. Thank you. Thank Amen. You. Yeah, even if you may not say anything while you are muted, or while, while you are, as long as you are praying in your heart, that is the most powerful prayer. The main thing is you to be connected so that you being on Zoom does not end up being a problem at the workplace. We have to be wise. So you can be there 
as long as you are following, then when it comes to prayer or whatever, you continue talking to God, it's a blessing. If you happen to miss things we make, this is live. Every time we upload the video and we send it to the group so that you can spend time and listen. You listen yourself, maybe you say something. It will help you to grow might. Praise God. Because my prayer and desire is that all of us will grow together. As I've always said, this work is a lot I cannot do by myself. When I see what is ahead of me, almost every nation to reach there, I cannot do it by myself. So I need all of you, and we have to work together. Praise God. Thank you. God bless you. This is a sad thing. Praise the Lord. Uh, I want to thank God for everything you have done in my life. I want to thank God for, I asked, I asked for prayer requests last time about my phone and I, I knew it, I'm going to find it and I find it, I thank God for that. Amen. Amen. Rejoice with you, sister. We know what it means to lose something, most especially it's something you love. So we thank God that he, he was able to make you see it. Because I remember that day I was moved to say, if I be God's son, you find it because you have taken a risk. Congratulations, sis. God bless you. Amen. I hope you'll stop being shy. <laughs> Bless actually, you. actually, Ashley made a bet with God and say, God, I use my phone when I'm at work. Like other teenagers are listening to this boom boom music. Ashley focuses on the videos which are being preached or the Bible, you know, like listening, uh, listen to the to the church, whatever. Because at work, she's not gonna be able to carry. Uh, to carry like iPad or whatever, the phone is the easiest. So she's like, Father, when I go to work, I'm forced to listen to these other music which these other uh, teenagers are listening. Help me find my phone. If I truly, truly like serve you, um, let me find my phone. Let me find my phone. So from there, we are like, uh, we went to Apple. Apple is like, ah, uh, Nobody can be able to use it, but nobody can return an iPhone. That's Pro Max 13. Nobody gonna give it back. You, uh, you guys can, we can give you a good discount to get another phone. Uh, then I told Ashley, we can as well get another phone, but this time we get it on loan, like credit, the one you make payments every month. Uh, Ashley's like, no, 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 mama. I'm not gonna give up my, my, my other phone because I know God gonna give me my phone back. She waited for three weeks. She's like, no, I know God going to give it. And when the, um, one day when I was at work, of course, every day we could try to call the phone. It was off. I was at work that night. I heard how Ashley was praying. Uh, uh, she was praying and uh, even she mentioned my name. She's like, even my mom is upset at me. I need my phone, this, that, that, that. I, in my heart, I said, wow, <laughs> this little girl. But when I was at work, I said, let me try to call, uh, to call the phone. It rang. I'm like, what? Then from there, I, I looked at the location. It showed me the location. I came, I told Ashley, I, I saw the location of the phone, but I don't know what we can do now. Uh, we cannot drive there by ourselves. We have to call the police. We don't know what to do, but it's at night. We'll just wait till tomorrow. The guy called and left a message and said, please come get your phone. The money which you offered, we don't, I don't even want the phone. I don't want the money. Just come get this phone. Is as if the phone was burning him or something. He's like, just come get it, come get it. So the following day, we went to uh, his restaurant and we got the phone. So for sure, I know like uh, you can see like things are small, 
if you believe in God and you have faith the way I was taught in the dream, it will happen. Ashley put her foot down. She said, no, I serve a true God. God will give me my phone back. God is above this enemy. He'll give me, he'll fight for me to get the phone back. And he did. She's so happy now. I've never seen Ashley so sad. I don't know what is it with these teenagers with the phones. It's as if they forget everything else, nothing exists. It's only the phone. But God is good. I'm happy for her. Like she's, she was able to find it. Thank Amen. you. Yeah, God used anything to help somebody faith. So the way she believed God is totally different. Thank you, Jesus, for that. And may you help Ashley to continue grow and trust in you. Indeed, when you stand and say it is only Jesus, he really shows you that it is. You see, there were many options for her to change the thought, but how she believed, no. If it's a true God, you can do this. And God approved himself. We thank God for that. It's not easy. You ask yourself, the person was able to keep that phone for three good weeks. Imagine. Because he was having, which means at first he had a negative thought. But he kept it for three good weeks. Then God commanded him to bring it to ask it to come. That's God for you. Amen. We see Sister Agnes. Thank you, Jesus. Glory go back to Jesus. The answering God. Praise God. Amen. Yeah, thank you so much. I want to give my thanks to God. Uh, last week, I sent my audio to Papa Ibrahim uh, because I was going to have a meeting with the school social workers and the psychiatry doctor. So uh, as we joined the meeting, but one of them is not there. So we were like three of us. And then uh, the meeting went well. I was so happy to hear the good news from them how they explained it. I was so happy. And in my heart, I say, better is not yet enough. The best is still to come. And I'm sure the best will come. Because what come from the school social worker, I was so happy about it. And on behalf of the doctor, and also I was so happy about it. I say thank you to God to answer my prayer, to accept my prayer, and to hear the good news from the school social worker. I was so happy because I was having a doubt here and there, here and there. But before we started the meeting, I kneeled down and said, Father, I'm going to hear the good word because you are the true God. And that word come to first. So I want to say thank you. And I said, want to say thank you to God to keep me alive and continue to keep me alive. Now we reach to the end of uh, the first of the year. The first six months we reach to the end and we're gonna start the seven months in a year. I say thank you so much to God to keep us alive. And I say thank you to brother uh, Papa Ibrahim, always being with us, advising us, praying for us in a situation whereby sometimes you feel like you don't know what to do, but you send your audio, whether you are online, you pray, you feel comfortable. 
I said, thank you so much for Brother Ibrahim, for your faithfulness, for God to choose you as a servant to help people, especially women with children. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Glory. Go back to Jesus. We thank God for you. It's a blessing. May God continue to establish peace in your heart. Praise God. It's encouraging when we pray and we are able to see or to hear the results of our prayer. Someone outside there who does not really believe that prayer works, when he hears such testimony, it makes him or her believe that God answers prayer. For many a times, because of unanswered prayers, many have taken by as a story. But when you're in the midst where you hear, we pray for this, it happened, it makes you believe God of the Bible. Because I want to let you know, this very God of Bible is the really very God we are serving. But sometimes our doubt make difficult for the Bible to become reality. And it make it to be like history. But if we keep away doubt and have faith, trust God, we'll see exactly or experience the really Bible in our daily life. Thank you so much for those who are able to testify and those who are not able due to circumstance. I believe God knows what you have to say. God bless you. Well, we thank you, Jesus. Let us take a session with pray for one another. We love to, if you have a word, want us to pray, we'll pray for one another. Amen. Anyone who love us to pray for? Nile kubali nile kwambiwa twende mbani kwa ba. Nime furai, nime pambiwa, tuende nyumbani kwa baba, nime nyumbani kwa baba, tuende nyumbani kwa baba, 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 nyumbani Mbani kwa baba, mbani kwa baba, hey, mbani kwa baba, mbani kwa baba, mbani kwa baba, hey, mbani kwa baba. Oh, ni me kubani, ni me pambiwa, hey, mbani. Amen. We take the tablet. Morning, everyone. Morning, everyone. Uh, Papa, I want you to pray for me. Just God is spiritual attack, spirit attacks. Today afternoon, I got the spirit attack me like um to feel the way that I used to. Um, feel before like um the spirit of epilepsy and then again just right now when we when you were talking it happened again and i said rebuke it and i said call holy ghost and then i said saying holy ghost fire holy ghost fire and did it go away so i want you to pray for me In the name of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost, 
God's spirit. You know very well you left. There is no place in our life. Whatever, whatever that attracts you back to us, fire of the Holy Ghost, fire of the Holy Ghost, fire of the Holy Ghost, fire of the Holy Ghost. I command you in the name of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost, wherever you are, out of our system out of our body, out you demon, out you pit of hell, out you confusion, out you marine power, wherever you are, I cast you out, out in the name of Jesus, out in the name of Jesus. You demon, fire of the Holy Ghost, whatever witchcraft spirit trouble in your life, fire in the name of Jesus, fire in the name of Jesus, fire in the name of Jesus. You demon, I command you in the name of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of this body, out of this system, out wherever you are, out you demon, out in the name of Jesus. I curse you out. I curse you out in the name of Jesus. Never again dare to return. For our body, our system is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Any witchcraft, fire in the name of Jesus. Any complication, fire of the Holy Ghost. Any familiar spirit, fire of the Holy Ghost. Any evil attack, fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. I release you. Be released. Be released. O son said free is free indeed. I declare you free. In Jesus' name, be healed completely, now forever, in Jesus' name, amen. You will never experience that again, in Jesus' name. Write the date down. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yeah, we take action now. see Ashley hand up. Is mine, Baba? Yes, please. Uh, I want, I need God to help me find my phone. I know it is inside my car and nothing is inside my car, but I, I cannot see it. I want just, I use God's eyeballs so that I can see it. And also I want to move out my old furniture and bring in the new furniture. The people who are bringing the new furniture, they only bring in the new furniture. They do not touch the old one. So I need God to help me find two strong men who can help me take out the furniture, uh, my old furniture. That's my prayer request. Thank you. Amen. We pray for you. In the name of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. That spirit that takes your daughter's spot and again track yours. Fire of the Holy Ghost against you. Out you demon of this home. I command you in the name of Jesus. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. 
in the name of Jesus. Be cast out completely. Never return. Lose your grip. Satan hand over you. Be broken in Jesus' name. Be broken in the name of Jesus. I command wherever it is, in the name of Jesus, you come and testify you upon your phone in Jesus' name. As you ask concerning your furniture, I cause men and women that are available, God have ordained to do necessary. Thank you, Father, for your provision. Thank you, Father, for making a way where there seems to be no way. Now and forever, in Jesus' name. Amen. We want to hear both testimony to the glory of God. Yes, Sister Agnes. Yes, praise God again. Amen. Yeah, I have a prayer request. Uh, the first, it started uh, a week ago. When I'm praying, I close my eyes. I do see people gathered around. They seated in a place like where uh, children are playing in the park, for example. There is uh, something being built round big. And then those people seated there. But the people I'm seeing them, I know them. They seated there. And they gathered in my spirit telling me that those who are against me. And then when I started praying seriously, again, I see trees. It sounds to me like we are in the park where there is a lot of trees. And then when I was praying seriously, one of the trees started to get burned. Like I continue calling blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, I send fire, fire. So the trees was really burning. And then to the left side, I see another trees also started to get drying. The leaves started to get drying, turning like brown. And uh, again, I continue praying. Where those people seated down, they gathered, whatever is built around there, I see like there is a a fire also started to burn that uh, whatever is built. And I see it's burning, it's melting, you know, uh, like uh, the old, old thing, people collect them and they burn them to, to, to make like uh, those uh, pot, like uh, all, I mean, uh, handmade. So I see the thing burning like that. And those who sit there, they continue seated. But I am in my prayer, I wanted them to run away to scatter them. They continue sitting there. and But the thing got burned like I'm seeing it linking, linking down there around there. And then after that, they, I see them moving away. Again and again, keep on happening when I'm praying. I do see the same thing. And sometimes in my heart, if I wanted to pray, something coming in my heart, no, I will pray later. And I will just go and sit down. And again, I'll pray later. So I don't want that spirit that coming to box me when I wanted to pray. Keep on saying, oh, I will pray. You will pray later. I will pray later. I don't want. And uh, secondly, uh, my son, like yesterday, today is like too much talk. He did not sleep last night, the whole night he didn't sleep. In the morning I wake up, yesterday when we pray, he was somehow, I was on prayer line yesterday, he was somehow. But again in the evening, he started too much talk again. And this morning we wake, talk and talk, talk and talk. And when I try to talk to him, like, please, uh, you don't need to talk. Like the way I try to advise him, like I see there is a hanger. There is a hanger. So uh, the way I look at him, he's not happy. Then I do leave him like that. 
So I need a, I need prayer for that. And uh, thirdly, I feel there is a laziness in the morning to wake up. I do wake up. If I'm the prayer line, like I do, sometimes I listen, sometimes I'm not listening. I feel really so tired and I feel deep asleep. I do miss a lot when I'm on a prayer line. Like I wake up maybe 15 minutes, I'm asleep. Maybe a half an hour, I wake, I keep on. I don't like that. So I want you to hold my hand and hold my son's hand to pray for us that that spirit coming to Frobrox me should come to an end. And the feeling that I will pray later, I will pray later, that evil spirit. In Jesus' name, I scatter them not to come back again. Amen, Baba. Hello? Amen. Yeah, we are happy to let us set your hand request for you. In the name of Jesus and the Father of the Holy Ghost, whatever and whatever that is not of God, operating in you and your Son, I command it in the name of Jesus and the Father of the Holy Ghost, out of your life, that spirit of loveliness, out in the name of Jesus of negative thoughts, out in the name of Jesus, bad feelings toward others, out in the name of Jesus. Anywhere they have gathered concerning you, let them scatter by fire in Jesus' name. For the Bible makes us understand, they surely gather but not for me, but they will fall. Wherever they have gathered, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Any spirit that has been planted anywhere, that the more it grows, the more your life becomes difficult. In the name of Jesus, I command them, those trees, plants, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. That spirit that operates in your son, make him to be bitter, speaking to the things that he cannot see. He cannot explain. I break that communion with the demon, with a bed of people, dead people. That communion be broken out of your son, out of your son, out in the name of Jesus. Out, whatever covenant you and your son you are under with the dead, be dismounted in the name of Jesus. Whatever argument. You and your son, you are having with the demon, with the hair, shall not stand. I release you from every confusion, every trouble. Be released. Whatever and whatever come into your dreams that is not of God. Whatever you have eaten from the table of enemy, flush out by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus Christ, my name. I declare you free. Amen. 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 I've forgotten one thing. Just <clears throat> sorry, I've forgotten one thing. <clears throat> Hello. We are listening, sister. Yeah. <clears throat> So uh, yesterday, I applied for the guardian say, for my son because when he turned 18, they say he's already adult. He can no longer stay with me. Last time I asked for that. So they were quiet. And yesterday when uh, the lady came to help me with uh, filling that form, 
So they continue saying that if they can move and stay alone. I totally disagree. I cancel that word not to be mentioned again because I don't want my son to go and stay alone. Age of 18, he's still young. I cannot accept that, okay, let him go and stay alone. I don't want that word to come from their mouths again and again. And uh, secondly, the form that I apply, I asked them how long it's gonna take. She told me that it's gonna take six months. Yet that six months is very, very far. I asked go to, as soon as she submit the form, I wanted them to take quick decision for the reply to come back. Thank you, Baba. Amen. As you wish, so shall it be. We are waiting you to come and testify concerning that. Just Amen. believe. Amen. Amen. I believe. It is done. Thank the you. Bible says the expectation of the righteous cannot be cut. So your expectation will not be cut off. Amen. Amen. Sister Alueko. Yes, Baba. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, actually, my prayer request is for I want you to pray for me because I've been having so much pain in my neck and in my throat. And I've been having a period of attack in my head, especially at night when I'm sleeping. So I want you to pray for me so that the hand of God be upon me. Thank you and God bless you. I advise, we pray for you. All of us, many a times, you apply oil while you are sleeping because the demons love to attack you at any time. Make use of oil while you are sleeping. In the name of Jesus, whatever you may have done to lead to all this, be forgiven in Jesus' name. Every spirit that is not of God trouble in your life, causing pain and confusion, I release by the Holy Ghost upon it. Every manipulation of that, every demonic confusion, out in the name of Jesus. Every satanic assignment concerning you and your family, be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Every pit of prayer, we send it back to pit of prayer. Whatever and whatever causing you pain, any part of your body, that pain, out of your system, out of that body, it is not your portion. You pain in the name of Jesus and the Father Holy Ghost be consumed out of that neck, out wherever pain is, out you demon, out you the spirit of infirmity, out you disease. How do you sickness and disease? Out forever. Never you return in the life. Wherever and whatever you may have eaten from the table of your enemy to cause you pain, be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. Be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. Out completely. Out completely. Out completely. Out. Jesus commands you to believe. Be healed of that pain. Be healed of that affliction. Be delivered. Strength brings. Be cancelled. Negative spirits surrounding you. Touch fire now in Jesus' name. I commit you and your daughter and the family member into hands of God. Blood of Jesus in your home. Blood of Jesus. I declare you free. For all sunset peace bring you. I announce you free. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Baba. You will stretch your hands out prayer for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I commit your daughters and sons to you. In this very hour, oh God, may you visit them as their faces are different. 
So their desires too are different. Arise in the way that surprises them. Father, as you showed me men in cage, if there is anyone among them or their family members in a cage, I release the Father Holy Ghost to consume whatever holds them, to release them in Jesus' name. Whatever trouble troubles them, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of confusion be cast out in the name of Jesus. Every demon causing trouble be cast out in the name of Jesus. Every pit of that out from in the name of Jesus. Out, you demon. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out, you unclean spirit. Wherever and whatever you are. Out in the name of Jesus. Out, you out you certain, out in the name of Jesus, out in the mighty name of Jesus, out you and the spirit, wherever you are, out in the name of Jesus, out you nightmare, immorality, addiction, bad feeling, unforgiveness, out in the name of Jesus, bitterness, out in the name of Jesus, grudges, out in the name of Jesus. Set back out in the name of Jesus. Failure out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Wherever and whatever you are, out completely. Out in the name of Jesus. Out wherever you are. Out in the name of Jesus. Out you demon. In the name of Jesus, I command you out in Jesus' name. Out in the name of Jesus. Those who are sick, touch where the pain is. Be healed of that pain. Be delivered. Be set free. Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free. Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free in Jesus' name. All sons set free is free indeed. I declare your marriage free. I declare your health free. I declare your career free. Your destiny, free. Your finance, free. Your children, free. In the name of Jesus. Anywhere there is darkness in your system, let there be light in the name of Jesus. Let there be light in the name of Jesus. Every wind and wave, I command calmness. Be calm. Be calm. Calmness in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray and believe. I declare you had no decay. Defeat and failure are things of the past. What did not work out last night, I command it to work out for you. Men and women will compete to favor you. You are high never beneath. You will not lack or beg to eat, but you will always have plenty to share. No weapon found against you will prosper. Any time the race against you in judgment, I stand to condemn it. In the name of Jesus, today, whatever your name is mentioned for evil, let the fire of the Holy Ghost consume it. I declare you are free and highly favored. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray and be. Amen. Clap for Jesus. Yeah, as we are coming to an end. I'll request to speak to our hand and pray for us. Praise God. Our electricity have left. Those who can who can unmute, please. Okay. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah. Our request 
we say the grace together. May God bless you all. Thank you for your prayer. Thank you for your commitment. We can't wait to hear your testimonies. For God is so gracious and so loving. We are so grateful for what God is doing in our midst. Until we gather again tomorrow, 